Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is the second video on how to install a package from a tar file or a tar ball. Now it's been over a year since I first posted a video on YouTube on this topic and apparently it was my first video on YouTube. And since then, more than 1 lakh people have watched it. Now though I was happy with the content of the video and I think I had covered all the steps pretty well. But there has been quite a number of questions, doubts posted on the video regarding the installation of a program from Tarball. I have tried to reply to everybody that I could and apologies if I have missed your question. But now I want to make a fresh video on the same topic covering it in more detail. And also in that video, the audio was quite bad to say the least. And I apologize to you for making you hear that audio. It was my first video and I didn't have much of an audio equipment at that time. But I'm sure this time the audio will be a lot better. Alright, so with that said, let's begin today's video. Alright, so there are typically four parts to installing a program from a tar file or tar ball. First is the extraction, which is like unzipping the archive. Second is configuring or setting up in which we create a file called make file. Third is the compiling, wherein we create executable or in a way build the software. And the fourth part is the installation where we move the executable files that we created in the third step to the required places. Now the first step is extraction. Here we extract the archive file. The process is similar to the extraction of a zip or a RAR file using WinZip or WinRAR in Windows environment. We extract the tar file using the following command. In terminal, we type in tar tar give a space dash lowercase x for extraction then lowercase v for verbose you can omit v if you want to and lowercase f for file name and then give a space and then type in the file name let's say file name dot tar now this syntax is universal and applies to all the tar file however if the tar file has been compressed using a compression software then depending upon the compression software used, we need to add an extra alphabet to our command syntax. Now let's look at the various compression that can be applied to a tar ball and the corresponding alphabet to be used in our command. First and the most common is the tar.gz file or .tgz file. This means that the archive has been compressed using the gzip software and the alphabet that we need to add to our syntax is the lowercase z or lowercase z. Next is the tar.bz2 or .tbz or .tbz2 or .tb2 files. Now this indicates that the archive has been compressed using the bzip software and the corresponding alphabet that we add to our command is dash lowercase j. Then there are dot tar dot xz or dot txz file. Now this means that the software has been compressed using the xz compression technique and the corresponding alphabet that we need to add to our syntax is dash uppercase j. There are also files with tar dot z or tar dot tz extension and in this case we use the alphabet dash capital Z. And lastly, from version 1.20 onwards, TAR also supports LZMA compression, which is the same compression technique used with 7-zip file. And in this case, the extension can be following dot TAR dot LZ dot TAR dot LZMA or dot TLZ. Now in this case, we need to add dash dash LZMA all in lowercase after typing TAR and before typing dash xvf. Now if you want to have more information on compression on tar files, you can go through this Wikipedia page which gives you a detailed list of archive formats and compression which are generally used in the software world. Now after the extraction, the next step is configuration. Now in this step, we run the configure script 
that you will find in the extracted folder. However, I want to once again remind you that there can be exception. In some cases, you may not find the configure script, but don't worry, you can move on to the next step. In fact, there may be cases where mere extraction of the tar file is required, which will give you the executable that you can run to start the program. One such popular case is the installation of Firefox, where all you have to do is extract the tar.bz2 file and that will install the program. So do remember that. Now when we run the configure script, it checks if the necessary dependencies required for installing the program is available or not. And it also creates your customized make file from the template makefile.in present in the extracted folder. This file is used in the next step when we compile the program. Now the next step involves building the software. Now here we run the make command, a universal command available in all the Linux distribution. Now this command takes in the make file which is present in the same directory to build the final finished program from the source code. Now this command compiles your program code and create the executable. Now this is the last step which is the installation of program and we do that by typing in the make install command in the terminal. In the third step where we build the software, the executables were created in the temporary directory. Now this command will move your executable to the required directories. And that was all the steps that are required to install a program from a tar file or tar ball. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment or suggestion, please type that in, in the comment box. And a huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you guys. Your subscription means a lot to me. And frankly, that is what that keeps me going. And thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.